Welcome to this overview of Mozart's Coronation Mass and other 18th century compositions written for or associated with royalty. Between 1768 and 1780, Mozart composed some 16 masses for Salzburg and his employer, Archbishop Colorado. In a letter to a fellow musician in Italy, Mozart explained that Salzburg mass settings could only last 45 minutes, even on the most solemn occasions, but that there still needed to be, in Mozart's words, all the instruments. The Mass in C Major, K317, commonly called the Coronation Mass, meets these requirements with a beautiful setting of the five texts of the Roman Mass. We can hear all the instruments in the regal opening of the first four movements, the Kyrie, Gloria, Credo, and Sanctus. The final movement, the Agnus Dei, begins more introspectively with an oboe introduction followed by solo soprano. The movement concludes, however, with a reference back to the opening Kyrie music, changing the mood of the Agnus from beginning to end. Another work which gained royal association after its composition in the mid-1780s is Joseph Haydn's Symphony No. 85 in B-flat major. One of six symphonies commissioned from Paris, Symphony 85 became a favorite of Marie Antoinette and so was nicknamed the Queen in her honor. Earlier in the 18th century, George Frederick Handel composed four English anthems for the coronation of George II. The first of these, Zadok the Priest, recounts the anointing and crowning of Solomon as king. This exuberant anthem, with its cries of God save the king, has been sung at every coronation since 1727. This Mozart coronation concert, featuring Handel's first coronation anthem, Haydn's Symphony No. 85, and Mozart's Mass in C Major, K317, presents the fanfare and celebration associated with all royal occasions. But it is how each composer combines these spirited passages with moments of contrast and reflection that results in works of true enduring beauty.